Hey everybody, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to gain weight as a student athlete, no matter your size. And we're starting right now. Hey everybody, new and familiar with the channel. My name is Javis and the things I go over in this channel are everything that is aimed to help you prepare yourself best to take on college athletics and make sure you are prepared for that. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to my content and click that notification bell so you can get a notification every time I upload a video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into some of the specifics of what it takes to actually gain weight as a student athlete. So just to start it off, we got our three macronutrients. We got carbohydrates, Hydrates, proteins, and fats. Carbohydrates are mainly the grains and the white rice, all those different types of wheats that you see in stores and such. That is good for energy and that is good for actually helping us put on weight and that's gonna be a big player in throughout this video. Proteins are what helps us after the workout and helps us build muscle. They're made up of amino acids and made up of uh, these different amino chains that comprise different types of proteins that affect our body in different ways. And despite popular belief, fats are actually good for you. You need good healthy fats in your diet to help supplement your body the nutrients that it needs so that it can utilize utilize that in things like rest and recovery, uh, just for example. So now that that's out of the way, let's go over some of the ratios and some of the important statistics about these different macronutrients that you need to know so that you are aware of what you're intaking throughout the day and how that's going to actually affect your body and allow it to hold the weight that you want it to hold so that you can gain weight over time. So let's talk about protein first because everyone wants to talk about protein first for some reason all the time. So just to get out of the way, the ratio for protein uh, intake through throughout the day is you want it to be at about 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per pound of body weight total for the whole day. So if I weigh 240 pounds, which I do, you're going to want anywhere from 240 grams to 360 grams of protein throughout the day, just total grams. You can track that throughout the day based on what you're eating. And I will go over some of the specifics of what you can be eating to promote more weight gain later in the video. We're actually going to go to the store and I'm going to show you that. But before we do that, I want to go over the carbohydrates as well. You want to get roughly the same as the protein intake if you are maintaining weight and you're happy with your weight but if you are gaining weight which is what this video is about is you're gonna want to load that carbs a little bit higher but you want to do it in the right way you don't want to just load on the sugars load on the white breads all of that no you want to keep it a healthy kind of carbo loading and that's what why carbo loading is called carbo loading because you're gaining weight by eating all these carbs and that allows us to train even harder throughout the day because we have all this excess energy energy that we're gaining through all these extra carbs. That's why you see these pro athletes like JJ Watt and uh, Michael Phelps. They are eating thousands and thousands and thousands of calories. And that's because they're training so hard throughout the day. They need all of those calories to fuel their bodies. And they weigh a lot for the for the sport that they play. You know, JJ Watt playing D end, obviously, and Michael Phelps being a swimmer, which requires a ridiculous amount of energy to compete at the level that he does. So understanding this, we need to talk about caloric intake and why it's pretty much essential to everything that is regarding weight gain. So think of it like this. The general US standard for caloric intake is 2000 calories a day. If you are spending some of those calories, and for a lot of us, it's a lot of those calories, working out and training for the sport that we want to play, you're losing a lot of those calories throughout the day. So in order to compensate for that and to make sure our body doesn't lose weight because we're not intaking enough calories, we have to eat more calories than what the normal is. So think of it like this. We're training for the sport that we need to be able to be efficient at. And in order to not lose weight from spending all of those calories training, you have to eat more and more on top of that. So now that you know the answer to how to gain weight is basically eating more calories than what you're burning throughout the day based on your training. The question remaining is how many? And the answer is basically thousands and thousands more calories than what you're probably already intaking. Now, luckily, I'm not just going to leave you high and dry and expect you to figure out how to intake all those calories. So in spite of that, I decided I wanted to go to the stores like Costco and Winco. That's where I'm going today. And I'm going to show you how to get all those calories in. And hopefully, you know, we're going to count it up and see if I can hit a high margin of how many calories you can eat in a day based on what I show you and based on what I suggest. Now, unfortunately, 
unfortunately i don't think i can fit that all into one video so this is going to be part one of a three-part series of talking about how you can gain weight as an athlete so stay tuned for part two so that you can make sure to learn how to grocery shop and then part three will be talking about how to take what we grocery shop for and putting it into a meal plan to make sure you know what you're eating throughout the day i hope you guys enjoyed part one and tackling the science part of gaining weight and understanding the caloric intake and how that all works go ahead and comment down below what you guys are doing to help you gain weight and uh, get yourself in better shape for football season if this content helped you guys go ahead and leave a like and if you guys want to see more of this content subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can get an update every time i post a video go ahead and stay patient for the next one it's gonna be on thursday i hope you guys are as excited for the next one as i am i'm gonna go to the store and tackle costco and winco and i'll see you guys on the next one